Last week, I had the sad news that my dog was dying. The shadow side of life. Kage in Japanese. Today, I'm going to share the Japanese wisdom of Kage and how we can deal with the sadness and how we can get over the sadness. You might think it's just a dog, but for me, he was part of a family. My companion, who I shared so much adventure for 11 years. So I was in tears for two days. And the sadness could be from the loss of your beloved one, your family members, your friends. And also the sadness could come from the breakup or loss of your job, divorce. Anything could happen in our life. So we go through this emotion of sadness, no matter what the event has been. We go through, this is the nature of our life. And this is, the, we experience the shadow side. I felt really in a place of like the bottom of the sea and stillness. So in the Western society, to me, it seems like when we are in this deep, dark side, we have to get out and we have to, uh, it's not a good place to be. But in Japanese literature, or the Japanese aesthetics, this is also the place where the beauty, the aesthetics is born. So how? When we are in this sadness, we go through so much emotion and we forget actually the present moment. We go back the past of how glorious what the time we shared with the beloved person or beloved pet or with the time you had, beautiful time, joyful time, then we also experience the fear of losing that happy time, joyful time, and how it's going to be after the loss. So the world of unknown. So the sadness and also the fear that was, I was experiencing it as well. And I am sure that most of you always also experience the sadness and the fear. However, first of all, there is a two stages that we can actually work on. The first one, when we are in this sadness, we are in tears and we cannot stop it. We just need to let out of this sadness. Then at the same time, you feel that you don't want to do anything. Just sit or just even you don't want to, you have no energy to do anything. And then just start looking at, for example, being present moment. Just look around and connect to, for example, nature. Look at the weather. It might be sunny. It might be rain. Doesn't matter. Just connect to what's happening around us and bring us to the present moment. Right now, what's happening? When I saw, for example, the leaves, uh, even now, uh, outside with the lights moving around, just start feeling like the beauty, the color. They are also alive. We are all alive and nothing is eternal. And then we start feeling, I started feeling, for example, the the sheer joy of being this present moment, no matter what's happening. If we are in the light, joyful, happy time, we don't have a moment to be still and really connect to ourselves. But in this moment of sadness, it's in the shadow side of our life. We can see the light. When we are in the light, we don't see the light because we are in the light. But when we are in the shadow side, we start seeing the light and we appreciate. We don't have to go into the light, but we see the light and we appreciate. So we appreciate. I appreciate. I started appreciating so much beautiful time that my dog brought us for the last 11 years. I really focused on being the present moment and just connect to this moment, what's happening. Because our, then we need to train, I have to say, we have to train our mind not to uh, go back to the past or go to the future. It's really our mind training. Just focus on now and try to see this moment. Of course, First, we need to feel this sadness. But when we experience after crying a lot, just start focusing on now what's happening. Then about the fear. 
So the fear is also can be dealt by being this moment and also training our, our mind. Because the, the fear is fear of unknown. That's all human experience. And that's part of life. I was scared. I was fearful of losing this joy and losing this happiness. But as in Buddhism as well, even light and shadow, there is a cycle and circle of life. So nothing is eternal except some of our beautiful energy that would stay in this universe. But in this material world, nothing is eternal. Everything is changing every day. I started thinking, okay, this is the, the cycle of my life. And one cycle, 11 years, together with my dog Luke, will end soon. Then the new chapter will start. So the new cycle will start as we have light and shadow. So anything what would finish, then there will be a new start. So like when we are in the shadow, which is night, always the day starts. And within this darkness and this shadow is the opposite side of light, the duality. And it is coexisting. So even during the night or during the shadow, there is light, there is the sunshine at the same time. So when we are in the shadow, it is not good or bad. It is just the way it is. In this moment, from the beginning of the Japanese literature, Japanese poetry, and this is the, 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 the most beautiful artistic inspiration was expressed during this shadow time. And there is also the first romantic novel written by Murasaki Shikibu, Tale of Genji. So if you go through there are lots of stories. It's actually love and tango of the prince. The aesthetics and the feeling of nostalgicness, sadness, was beautifully expressed during his heartbreaks. Also at night, especially with the moon, we can see the moon because we are in the shadow. We are in the darkness. We can see the stars because we are in the darkness. So this is the time the shadow, especially even in summer, Japan gets really hot. And then during the summer days, like in August, we kind of enjoy the shadow and at the same time, enjoying the light, seeing the light. So. The shadow in my past talk, for example, about wabi-sabi, mono no aware, the Japanese aesthetics, they are all born from being in this shadow and being in this darkness. Of course, it is painful. It is difficult to be in this sadness, but this is also the time that we can actually see the beauty in the world because we are very much in stillness and we connect to our own essence. And to overcome the fear, you can train our mind to focus on this moment and train our mind not to go back to the past or not to go back to the future, just right now. Then that's the first thing. And the second thing, everything in life is cycle. The cycle of life or cycle of life. So once something finish, always new things will start. So the ending is the start. Ending is the new start. So it is hard to think that something will begin again, but we can train our mind that everything is a cycle in this material world. Then new will begin. And so with these two, going through with your feeling, 
and also using our logical mind. When you combine, we can deal with the sadness and then we can get over and we can actually embrace the every moment we are living right now. And the sadness is part of our life. And you might think, oh, I'm depressed, but it's if it's sadness, you just think of Japanese wisdom of this kage. And this is where we always experience and always the new light we will see. Always we see the light in the shadow. Thank you for listening. Please comment below as I like to hear your experience and if it helps you to share your story. And also please like the video and share it with your friends, family. Thank you very much and see you next week.